What's it, Brian? It's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, it's going to be a DIY room organization and storage video as well as some summer DIY room decor and just my overall tips on how I clean my room and hopefully maybe it will help some of you guys. But before doing this video, my room was completely disastrous. It looked like a tornado. No, actually multiple tornadoes just came through here and then threw up and that's pretty much what my room looked like. It was really bad. It was starting to like cloud and clutter my mind and it was blocking my creativity with my channel so I was like I need to clean this so I decided to turn it into a video show you guys my tips and just kind of how I store things now to keep myself a little more organized but let's just jump into the video <laughs> So we all wish that we could just go like that and our room would be clean. Unfortunately, that's not the case. So these are going to be my five tips that I use every time I clean my room that really help me just make it quick and easy. So my first tip is to start with making your bed. Making your bed just makes your room look so much more put together and makes it feel like you have a lot less to clean. Tip number two, start with the dressers, night tables, any kind of surface that's in your room that's messy, and that way you think to yourself, oh, okay, I only have to work on the floor now. Tip number three, if you have any piles of clothes in your room, just put them all into one big pile and then start putting them in the washing machine. That way they're out of the way temporarily and you have all of that time to clean your room and then worry about clothes instead of doing both at the same time. Tip number four, start with all of the big stuff in your room. Like for instance, I had a suitcase in my room that was here for like three months. Once I took that out of my room, I was like, oh my God, I have all this extra space. Tip number five, start with one section of your room. If you finish one whole section of your room before moving on to the next, you're going to look and you're going to be like, okay, I only have like two sides left to clean instead of looking and being like, oh my God, I still have my whole room to clean. So just start cleaning like one section at a time. Usually I like to start with the messiest section first and that way the other sections of my room that aren't as messy just makes me feel like I have a lot less to clean so I'm not going to be as overwhelmed anymore. So now that your room is all clean, you can focus on some DIY organization stuff to keep your room organized. So I took this old box, I cut off the flaps, and then I went over it with some paper to hide the cardboard. You can also paint it too, that probably would look nicer. Um, but that's what I did for this one. And then I just took some ribbon and tied it around just to add a little something extra and make it look nicer. So using the flaps of the box that I cut off earlier, I am taking some hot glue and placing that on the bottom of the cardboard and then I'm going to be placing it in the box and then eventually it will look like this and this is pretty much the finished box. I saved one side for my mail and my planner because I always end up throwing my mail all over my room and kind of losing important bills and stuff like that and you know a planner just makes my life more organized and I'm also putting some wires in one of the sections that either just chargers that I want to just grab real quick and then I am taking some of my fitness stuff and putting that in this box as well because I don't really have a place for it in my room. I have my fitness watch and my fitness band in here as well so when I want to just go to the gym I can just grab it and walk out the door. I also have a place in here to place all of my supplements that I take or anything like that because again I don't really have a place for it in my room. I also decided to keep my pens and like markers and stuff like that in there because my planner is right there so it just makes everything more convenient. So for my second DIY I decided to take one of my old boxes that was sitting in my room and I painted it with some black acrylic paint. Obviously you should probably do two coats but I just kind of turn it into a little shoe shelf and I place it in the front of my room and I just keep all of my shoes there that I mainly use. So I always have a habit of throwing my watch and my keys, stuff like that, all over my bed and then not being able to find it when I need it. So I put them in this little box in my nightstand just to keep everything organized. Another habit of mine is throwing all of my clothes all over my floor and not being able to find anything. 
So I decided to store my clothes in my drawers, like kind of like a filing cabinet. That way you can easily see everything you own and when you take stuff out it doesn't make a mess. So moving on to the DIY decor, I decided to design my own pillows by watercoloring them and believe it or not I actually used food coloring because it was something that I already had. I tried to create like an ombre effect making some spots darker and some spots lighter. I just thought it would add like a nice summery pop of color to my room. So for this DIY I bought some decor beach sand as well as some seashells and this glass from Michaels and basically what I'm going to be doing is placing all the sand in here and then at the very top after all the sand is in I'm going to be lining the entire perimeter of the glass with the seashells and it just will give you know a very beachy vibe and I love any beach decor it just makes me happy so after I placed in all of the seashells at the top I also decided to add a flower because I just love the way that it looked and I just felt like it added a really nice pop of color and made it more eye-catching I also kind of turned this into a candle but using a battery operated candle and again I just felt like it was something that just adds so much to your room even though it's so small. There's a light in your eyes and I'm dying to know it's on the other side. So for this DIY I am pretty much redoing one of my older DIYs. This time I added in some different color flowers, just summery colorful ones and I hot glued them this time instead of taping because last time they all fell off eventually and then after I add in the flowers I'm only putting them on two ends of the board so that way it looks cute but not too much and then I decided to also hot glue some seashells around the entire border So I saved the best DIY for last, so all you're going to need is some jumbo crayons and to get the wrapper off you can just soak it in a cup of hot water and the wrapper will come right off, quick and easy like that. You're going to need a canvas and a blow dryer and as you can see here I'm melting the crayon onto the canvas and as you can see it's creating this really cool melted crayon effect. It's basically like your abstract painting with melted crayon and that's the fun part is that it's abstract and it doesn't need to be perfect, it can look as messy as possible, it will still look really cool. The one thing that I will say about this DIY is that it is very time consuming and it's also very messy. You kind of just have to be careful with it but it is super super fun. I definitely recommend you guys try this. Alright everybody, so that is it for my DIY room organization video. I hope you got some useful tips or just enjoyed it. And if you did, then make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, give this video a like just for me showing you the before of my room because that was just the worst it has ever been in my life. <laughs> and that was just embarrassing. I'm also planning on doing a back to school series soon, which I'm, again, excited about because I've never done that on my channel before and I think it will be fun. If you guys want to kind of like keep up with my channel and be updated on all of my new videos that come out, you can just click that subscribe button and I post weekly videos so you can kind of just keep up with my channel that way. So until then, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! So we're going to taste test them.